It's nice to Simon Alaska Fairbanks artist fighting a tough personal battle. In the midst of it all, he's able to brighten the Anchorage skyline with his work. Here's Channel 2's Ted Land. So you guys are ready. This one. We hang below the beam. Hopefully in praying. You might think the artist behind this stained glass window yeah, they all fit in like they're supposed to. is driven. If it ain't perfect, it's perfect. By some higher power. Perfect is for heaven. To spread a clear message. Oh, gee, I wish we had some Windex. To those who wander the cathedral like Denina Center. Look at too much right there. Yes, artists like to make a statement. Grab it here and grab it underneath. For some, it's the only way to get a grasp on our world. And let's see, what section is this? For James Grant, it's a living. Most of all, I'm just trying to make some money to live a little better. Grant spent close to four decades breaking even. So when the city of Anchorage chose his design to brighten the skyline, he set right to work designing one of his most elaborate pieces, an intricate and delicate scene of native life. Here's a berry picking, of course. It's called a denying a day around Cook Inlet. And the drying of fish. On this day, Grant toils over his masterpiece. He's exacting. Bring the left up a hair. At times elated, and almost always exhausted. I think he paces himself pretty well. I think he has to. He may not look like it, but James is quite sick. He's fighting three different types of cancer. It started with leukemia, then prostate, now bone cancer. He says treatment helps, but it sure slows him down. <coughs> Back home in Fairbanks, Grant spends much of his day resting. Yeah. He says he's lucky to get in four hours of work on a good day. It's so exhausting. You never have any energy. His regimen includes monthly hormone therapy, daily pills, herbal tea, and prayer. I believe in, uh, God can do just as much as medicine. It's got to come your way just a smidge. So I think he's going to make this happen because he needs to make it happen and finish this up. But perhaps this is the best medicine. He's got projects all the time, something going, something looking forward to. Like an oil painting for the Morris Thompson Center in Fairbanks. Grant's daughter says the reality is he simply does not have the energy for another work on this scale. I've thought about it as the, as the last big project. Grant works with family and friends. His daughter strings beads. His brother provides the muscle. We both have the same sense of humor, so you know, things get, get hard, we can, we can joke about it. Grant, himself Doyen Athabaskan, was chosen for this project in part because he understands Native Alaskan history. I think it's pretty unusual. He, there's no one else doing the kind of work he's doing. This glass panorama gives one a sense of who the Denina people are and what this building is named after. The project has been at times frustrating, but all that is forgotten as the final pane is fastened tight. This is reason to celebrate. For the city, a reminder of where we've come from. For this team, a flawless end to months of hard work. Hey, that's a pretty one. And for James, Praise God, it's done. a chance to rest. And I'm happy. Ted Land, Channel 2 News. Well, that's a stunning piece of art. And if you'd like to check it out personally, James Grant's piece, it's on the third floor of the Denina Center. Or you can see it lit up at night looking north from 10th Avenue downtown. Nice job to Ted Land mm -hmm. for Eric Sol working on that beautiful, beautiful yep, story. And we wish that artist the best of luck. Mm -hmm. We'll still ahead. Evidence from an